All right, hey everybody, uh, this is Chad Jordan from Sport Clips. This is another edition of our Hall of Fame podcast. Uh, waving to you if you're watching us on YouTube uh, and if you're just listening, uh, the podcast channels, welcome. This is going to be a fun episode. We've already laughed a ton this morning. Uh, I am in soggy Washington. <laughs> I think you guys, I'm in Bonnie Lake. That's what it's yes, called. Yes, Bonnie Lake, very good. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, there's enough water in Bonnie Lake. They don't need a lake. It's they just coming down. Too, yeah, yeah, it's all over the place. <laughs> but but having, uh, having a great time. I And we had planned, uh, and uh, you'll hear from my guest here in a minute, uh, a little bit about her story. But we had planned to do the store visit. I, I thought, oh, I'm smart. I, I'll plan this in the morning and I'll catch her before the store is busy. And I walked in around 9.30 and there's literally a line out the door, there's an hour and a half wait. Uh, whoever Amanda Z is, she's got like six people already My waiting for her. Okay, <laughs> uh, checked in online waiting for her. Uh, so I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely not as bright as I thought I was. So this is a very humbling morning for me so far. But uh, we were able to kind of catch, uh, catch a minute or two, hang out, and then really, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to come today was to capture your story. So I'm gonna have her introduce herself, let everyone know who she is, and then we're gonna dive into this a little bit. But uh, why don't you give me uh, your name, how long, uh, what's, you know, the store we're at, but how long you've been managing, how long you've been with Sport Clips. Give me, give me a little overview right there. Okay, quick. so Brenda Long, it's WA108. Ooh, let's see, September 2nd was my eight year anniversary. Managing, I think it's like three years now I've been managing. Okay. I went from stylist to assistant to manager, mm -hmm. so yeah. So you've had how many huddles? Three? Oh no, I've had four or five huddles, because okay. I went as an assistant okay. twice right. too. Okay, all right. Yeah, and I your, team, your team leader? Is Andrea and Rob oh, okay. right. the best. Yes, yeah. they are, they are, they are, they are awesome. They are. Uh, <laughs> And uh, the reason, so the reason I'm here, we did a store visit today. Uh, you're literally the reason I came to the Northwest. You oh, and then uh, Ver <laughs> Veronica Jordan, who will be on another of the podcast, <laughs> and she's in Oregon. But I had to get up here uh, because you guys won a, uh, a social media challenge that we put out over the summer. Yeah. We did a back to school challenge. So yeah. I, I assume, is that always a busy time of year for you guys? Yeah, back to school? yeah. And so we said, hey, Post some stuff on Facebook, yeah. on Instagram, get clients to come in. And if you set a weekly sales record, uh, we'll enter you into kind of this drawing. And you got more entries than anybody else because how many how many records did you set? Four. You set we four records. Four. We didn't even so, need two. Like, so, it just happened. It was just, uh, yeah, you're that good. <laughs> so I, I, I had to get up here, obviously, deliver you uh, your Do It With Passion t-shirt and then one for your team as well. Yay. We started a new thing here where I'm collecting autographs from stores, uh, uh, team members of stores and managers especially of stores that do some crazy epic stuff and uh, you guys qualify for that. So you are the official, those looking on YouTube, this is the official <laughs> autograph journal that I'm collecting and taking all over the country during my Sport Clips adventures. And uh, Brenda Long is the first one to sign that. So yeah, you have to come back when I hit the million. I, 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 I tell you what, I'll have a million dollar section in this journal. Ooh, so yes. it, it's not very big in right now, years, but it's growing. You. So yes, okay, <laughs> I'll come back for sure. Um, and uh, I, uh, I, I really also, I, I know a little bit about your story, uh, just, uh, just from interacting with you and uh, you know, obviously in Facebook and, and hanging out and stuff. But I think we need to unpack a little bit because it's, it's pretty inspirational. I know you share it with ambassadors, is yeah, that right? Yeah, I'm an ambassador lead. Uh, so uh, can you walk me through, all right, this is 2019 <laughs> uh, when we're filming this. I don't know when we'll air it, uh, it, it mm -hmm. not too long from now. But walk me through, where, how far back should we go? How far back should your story go? My story goes back uh, when I was a kid. Okay, so about 15 years ago, you're, yeah, you're 20 you're years awesome. old, and, uh, all right, all right, no, okay. all right, all right. No, okay. <laughs> what, what happened? Um, well, I didn't play with dolls when I was little, I had, I had one doll, it was a Farrah Fawcett head doll, that was all that I okay. do the makeup and the hair on, so, mm -hmm. um, then I went to high school, I didn't like high school, I, it was boring to me, so. Are you from this area? Yeah, I graduated okay. from Sumner High School okay. in 85, yeah, yeah, so, um, Let's see, high school, I uh, skipped PE so much that um, I wasn't going to graduate. So my mom said, PE? Like, <laughs> why, 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 why? Of I all the that girl. Like, skipping. I even tried to skip drop physics the and everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. So 
My mom said, you like doing hair, you're going to go to beauty school, and your high school is going to pay for it. I was like, great. So then I only had to go to high school three hours a day. So that was a win-win. Mm -hmm. So, was your mom a, a, a stylist? No, okay. I, she just knew I loved doing hair. Okay. So my high school paid for it, running start even back in 1985, mm -hmm. 19, well, I guess it was 83 back then, yeah. yeah. So um, went in, did, um, graduated top three in my school, um, went into full service for about 20 some years. I went into full wow. service 25 okay. years. Yeah, I've been doing hair 34 years now. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. But, but a bulk of that mostly probably women's hair. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Through the different franchises and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Even rented a chair, had a chair in my house, stuff like that. Very yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got married. Um, married about eight and a half years. I had three boys with him. Very abusive. Um, life went a little dark. Um, mm -hmm. Introduced me to meth. Um, got away had from he, Had he been an addict before you had met him or? Yes, yeah, yeah. And is this one of those things where you had kind of rationalized he'll get better? Once, yes. Once we get married, yes. settle down. Even the abuse, like I thought it would stop. I wasn't mm -hmm. raised that way, so I thought it would really stop. I yeah. stuck, and you're married, you have kids. Like, I ended up having three premature babies. Um, one, my last one, he was two pounds. He about oh died. He spent six months in the hospital. He's my little miracle. Um, What's his name? Kendall. Kendall okay. I had cervical cancer at the time. Everybody wanted me to abort him and I wouldn't do it. And I got checked after I had him and um, it's gone. And I feel that kid cured what? me. I know in all my heart that kid cured me. You had, you had like documented cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And could you do treatments while you were pregnant or they were no, making No, they wanted me okay. to abort. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I wouldn't do it. I was in the abuse of marriage. Mm -hmm. Like I actually would have killed myself. Like mm -hmm. he kept me alive mm -hmm. all the way. Like he is my miracle child. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after they run so tests. due to the abuse he um he he i lost all my amniotic fluid okay. he dropped and the cord was around his neck so mm -hmm. that caused cerebral palsy and then when oh you're born gosh. a duct in your heart is supposed to shut well his wouldn't so that caused a brain bleed so he actually had open heart surgery at five days old on my oldest son cody's birthday at 80 percent chance he would die and he lived so he's 20 he'll be 26 on thanksgiving so oh, very wow. high functioning and yeah with you or, mm -hmm. okay. yeah yeah right. very very high functioning okay well yeah. i hope kendall kendall right <laughs> kendall, uh -huh. kendall i hope you're watching your mom right now hi there shout out to you buddy good job so then um let's see um got away from that marriage met a boyfriend he uh, made meth so i learned to do that um all within he 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 made meth. Manufactured okay. it. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're not talking Walter White blue stuff. Yeah. Um, Walter White blue okay. stuff. You right. got it. Exactly. Um, just like that. <laughs> so, well, give me, time, give me a timeline. Where, where are you? What, what, what year is this? This is about um, 95, 96. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 95, um, your mother of three, mm -hmm. uh, still working. A stylist? Mm, uh, no, no. no. Okay. I'm slinging drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I what, learned to make it. And what are you? Uh, I always have my mom as security with my kids. Like okay. my mom always helped me out with my kids. Like. What are you telling your mom at the time? She don't know nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she don't know nothing. Does she think that you are? She a, thinks something's cutting, going on, but. Hair for somebody. Yeah, or? she doesn't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, she knows like getting out of that abuse of marriage and stuff that was a good thing but then what happened after well, we fast yeah. forwarded through that i mean how did you, you, you um how did you get out like there, there may be others watching right now i knew i was listening. gonna die okay we ran across the street to a neighbor okay yeah. in, in the midst of an attack mm -hmm. okay i had to leave all three of my kids okay that was the hardest thing like, you you I left to, to, me. to go call 911 yeah. or do whatever yeah okay yeah and then what his what mom happened? came and grabbed my kids, and then he disappeared. And um, so my mom. Because he's worried about getting arrested or yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they eventually find him, and he he goes back to jail. But then he's back out hunting me down. Mm -hmm. And um, I go live with my mom. My you mom have a was getting my kids back. Yeah, I have a lifetime one actually, okay. still to this day, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've had my nose broke. I have fake teeth. I've had stitches over my eye. Like it was really bad. Broken mm -hmm. ribs. It was really bad. Yeah. Wow. I got told one of my kids would be abusers, and I knew I was going to die. I knew it was it was getting to that point. So, yeah, so I had to run. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. You, you were able to keep your kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, yes, my mom. Thank God okay. for my mom. All yeah, right. yeah. Shout out to all the moms. Out there. <laughs> right? You, you being one as well. But um, so your mom helped. You have your kids, and then you kind of pivot to this lifestyle. Had you ever been an addict or anything in your life? No. Okay. No, not so you never, him. You, you had never abused nope. uh, previous to this nope. uh, to this boyfriend. No. Um, okay. And so uh, 
you you start making the meth with him, your partner, literally a partner, partner. in crime. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what unfolds with that kind of um, lifestyle? It, it can't living end in well. hotels, like uh, my mom would have my kids all the times. Um, I actually, um, my mom had my kids for about six to eight months. I disappeared. Like, um, well, actually, let's go back. Um, so the ex-husband always wanted to see the kids, yeah. and it wasn't to see the kids; it was to see me. So, and he was all, as an intimidation factor. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I was like, "You think you can do a better job? You raise them then." Mm -hmm. And so then I took off for eight months, and I ran and made dope, and I made dope in all the hotels. Um, he had the kids. I just didn't. I, it was here. You know what I mean? You stay numb. You don't feel. Mm -hmm. My mom seen the kids. They were fighting over a piece of bread. They had no beds. He was a drug addict too. They were living in all these dope houses. Oh so my, my mom gosh. stole my kids back. How old are your kids at the time? Oh gosh, where they have to be like three, oh, my three, word. six, and seven, yeah. something like that. And yeah. Kendall was, uh, mm -hmm. was Kendall was in that mix wow. too. Yeah, yeah. That's the only time he actually even had Kendall. Wow. So otherwise, he's never taken care of Kendall since. Mm -hmm. So and my mom's. Some would argue he didn't Kendall. take care of Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> too, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yes. Okay. So relied on my mom a lot. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, mom stole the kids back. Um, I came home, um, I was the boyfriend, um, we had gotten in trouble, he was wanted, supposed to do a contract, he actually went away, I came home, um, I come home to by, my by, mom. By contract, what do you mean? He was supposed to snitch on people to be able to get out of his trouble or okay. whatever. All right. Yeah, yeah. So then, um, I came home and lived with my mom, well here I have no income, I have nothing, and I'm like, I think I can do this, and I'm on the phone with my ex, he's like, I know you can, and so, like I had chemicals shipped to me, and for $200 I could make $2,000, so I started slinging, mm -hmm. and doing it myself, and From I could leave my where? kids with my mom, and I could okay. go do my business, and then come home and be normal, you know okay. what I mean, so kind of rolled wow. that way. It is, it, it, is like, <laughs> it is like a TV show. It, it is. Really is. So, all within that two years, um, then I got in trouble. Um, did, I was you, did you not get in trouble the first part of the, the time? You're um, getting away with it? And so that's yeah. kind of feeding the lie, like, mm -hmm. hey, I'm a I can make this happen. Because I'm a world, and these okay. three brothers, no matter, we would help each other out with the chemicals or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so then, um, um, two years, and then you get people who buy from you, but then snitch on you and all this. So, and yeah. within two years, I was... Um, I got in trouble and so I got sent to prison so for manufacturing meth and, and I assume that's a felony it's a big so felony. it's not like you're in county jail no not right? in county jail okay. no yeah so I'm in the big house yeah and your kids are um, so uh, my kids are actually with my mom uh -huh. yeah so and my mom had them. now what year is this this is um, 1998 I went to okay. prison in April okay. yeah yeah so um, and then I got out. Um, I'm not ready for you to get out. Okay. I, I know you are. <laughs> I got to find out. Uh, there are there are some other. This this is going to be in my series uh, that we have. Um, that survive in advance series of podcasts where we look at managers or team members, stylists of sport clips who have overcome some sort of challenges. I mean, you, you've overcome- well, I love a, the a, Cut It Out program. I talked to that yeah. lady at the huddle. Yeah. Because it happens in here, we cut men and boys' hair. Yeah. Like, all men are not, and, and not saying that, because there's women that are abusive too. Like, right. don't get me wrong, yeah. all day long. But you can be verbally abusive to me in my chair. You don't have to be physical. Yeah. And it does happen. Yes. It does happen. Well, and I, I mean, I want to key in on th the things that you've survived in advance. Like, had you just survived Cancer, <laughs> right? That yeah, would have been. I've actually survived it three times. That that would, <laughs> that would qualify for this podcast. I'm a cat. I'm not. Uh, nice. <laughs> so, it, so, and you survived abuse, yes. and addiction, yes, and a, a prison sentence, yeah. and so uh, you, you uh, I mean, we got to turn this into a movie. We'll talk right? about that later. That's the reason but, we should write a book. Um, That's what they tell me and my mom. But I, I, I need to understand the uh, the impact of uh, a mom as she do your kids come to visit you in prison how does that mom happen? comes I, every weekend okay so, mom cries so, every weekend so your your mom your mom brought brought the kids mm -hmm. um what's your mom's name kathy and she's still she's still around right now we live okay. together okay uh -huh. okay we she's love you kathy uh, <laughs> I yes do. no kidding we need to get her a cape yeah, uh, we a, do. a w a wonder, a wonder woman <laughs> uh, outfit 
Um, so Kathy brings uh, the three kids. What are those? What are those memories? What are those conversations that you're having with yeah. her, with the kids? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, every time. Yeah. Every weekend. Yeah. That, that they come. Yeah. Mom's crying every weekend yeah. because my mom. I have a little brother. He's mm -hmm. 80 days older than my son. Me and my mom are pregnant at the same time. Oh my gosh. So she has four <laughs> under the age yeah. of 10. Yeah. So it's a lot. Um, the guards were so sweet to her. They're like, they they, they would practically cry with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you are you um, a model citizen essentially? Once you get to jail, are you like you know what? I got to clean myself. Yeah, up. I only this got is... in trouble one time because they were trying to send me to Spokane. And my mom could not make that trek with the kids, and I need to see my kids. I need to be a mom, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? As much of a mom as I can be. And so um, we, uh, I got in trouble so that I wouldn't get sent there because pre-release or pre-release or whatever was in was in um, Spokane. So I got in trouble to so stay you intentionally, in Hurley. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. did it extend your sentence at all by yeah. doing that? Okay. Yeah, three months. All right. Yeah, I lost some good time. All right. Yeah. Um, and um, I wait, didn't if see you had to do it over for, again, would you have done that? No, because okay, I didn't see my early. kids for 30 days. Okay. I was back behind glass. I didn't get to hug or kiss them or my no. mom. I didn't have my mom. My mom came and see me, and all she would do is cry, and I told her not to bring the kids, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we would have once a month, they would come, and they would play in the gym with me, and it was a mom and kids' day where they would bring them snacks and all that. And there was a thing called Angel Tree yep. where I could pick out presents. Yes, I know, Angel would, Tree. Yeah. And they would, I was able to give my kids presents. Christmas presents, Christmas, yeah. And they would come and we'd play and, yeah, yeah. it was really cool. Yes, Very I love cool. I love that Angel Tree program. A lot of churches will do it at Christmas, yes. as you know. And uh, and people get to pick out gifts and it's, re it's really special. So I, I don't think I've ever met anybody that's participated in the Angel Tree program. I so love it. on that side of yeah, it. So <laughs> I've seen people that have donated. Uh, and been and been in around them. And it but, sounds uh, funny, but I mean, you still gotta try and be the best parent you right. can, even though I'm there. I'm still a parent, and my mom yeah. never took that away from me. They're always my kids, they're not her kids, you know. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, she's Kathy. Yeah, <laughs> she was. Uh, she I, is. You know what? Don, Don, we should have had her. <laughs> right, I should have. have. <laughs> Next time, hey, we're right? gonna you a million dollar store. There you go. Okay, we'll bring my mom. Well, we'll bring my mom. <laughs> I love it. Um, so okay, so. Prison, I, I mean, is it same day, uh, every day? It's just kind of... I actually redid my beauty school in prison. Okay. Because mm -hmm. so, I thought I lost my license. Uh -huh. So Clover Park had a program there. Um, so then um, I would go... As soon, I got through till my... When you get put on the floor. Mm -hmm. And actually I found out I only had to pay 100 bucks and I got my license back. And you're in you're in prison from 98 uh -huh. until when? April of 2001. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, you, was that your original sentence or were you supposed, I mean, I know they extended So they sentenced me to 54 you, months and uh -huh. then for manufacturing meth, then they took me back to county because they forgot to sentence me for a gun because they said, I had a gun in my room and they said, is this your gun? I said, yeah, sure, it's my gun. Well, mm -hmm. I never even shot a gun in my life to this day still. Yeah. So, but it was, it was my gun in my room, but uh, my partner, it was his gun, yeah. but I said, yeah, it was my gun. So they sentenced me on that, so they put a 41 months with it. Oh, so, wow. And they told me they were going to put me down 10 years if I didn't get away from these three brothers. Mm -hmm. And so if you put it together, there was my 10 years. So yeah. they ran them together. So I ended up doing just the, over three and a half, okay. three and a half years about what I did. I did two years at Purdy, and then I did one year at pre-release and still to come, mm -hmm. where I worked at Western State Hospital there. And um, it, it was a lot more lax because you're on your last time. I didn't go to work release. That costed a lot of money. And I just stayed at pre-release, so the kids could come hug and see me, and we were out like in a courtyard and stuff like that. At what stage do you think, Kit, your your boys, especially your two oldest, started going? You know, this isn't normal. Most kids don't have to do this with mom with their mom. When did it start to click? Because when they're little, they don't know, right? Um, yeah, because well, when the little one would be in the grocery store, and he'd be like, "My mom and dad are in prison," oh, uh -huh. <laughs> and, the, right. and the other ones would be yeah. like, "Grandma, yeah. Yeah. like, yeah. stop him!" Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's when, it, yeah. yeah. They, they, <laughs> they must be some tough boys. That's they are. Like they're boys. amazing. Um, all right, you get out. I get out. Uh, you have your beauty license renewed. Cosmetology yes. license renewed. Um, I meet a guy. <laughs> okay, all right. My now, mom has a friend. Okay. Well, he supposedly her daughter has this guy that works and is amazing and handsome and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'm home two weeks. My mom's like, you're going to be a mom. You need to be a mom. Like, we waited three years for you to come home. It's yeah. time for you to come home. You know what I mean? 
And so when, then I, when you first get out, are you kind of in a daze like that? Yeah, because I mean, it's even though it was three years, that's a long time. Right. It's, oh, it, no, things of change and like, yeah, it's a whole different acclimation. You know what I mean? And then um, my brother Jeff actually helped with get me a car and like supplies to go back to work. And I anybody actually, in your family turn on you and just like they're done with you? No, but. All of them wanted one of my kids like a puppy. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted all of them. Or okay. my mom took them all. Okay. My mom would work in the rain. My mom would bust her butt. Like mm -hmm. she got some little bit of state help, but not much. Like mm -hmm. she was out in the rain shagging cars and stuff for Kia back then, like busting her butt to take care of my kids. Mm -hmm. She got a nice house up here in Bonnie Lake. My grandma, my grandma then would help her out too and watch the kids and stuff like that mm -hmm. for her. And grandpa would help her out. Yeah. Wow. Otherwise, no, nobody, nobody really. Grandma lied to people and said I was somewhere. Okay. Grandpa wouldn't come see me till I'm in pre release. He wouldn't come in prison. Okay. I actually lost my dad when I was in prison. Oh no. Um, he was my hero. Um, he um, got sick before, he had emphysema. Yeah. And he actually, in prison you get a choice to either go to a funeral or their deathbed. My dad didn't want a funeral. So my grandma paid for me to go visit him at Good wow. Sam Hospital. Okay. Um, so was I, he conscious? No, he was in a coma. Oh. And it was me and my mom in there. Mm -hmm. And my mom talked to him and he said, she said, burn his hair, burn his hair. And a tear ran down his eye. And oh, he wow. like shook his head when my mom talked in his ear. Oh, okay. And um, yeah. Have they been he, together or were they? Yeah, they were married 22 years. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, so he passed away like after that night after I seen him he passed wow. away. So yeah. So. Do you feel like you got some sort of closure because you yeah. got to see him when he was? Yeah, and I was only talking to him on the phone. He wouldn't come see me because he was on oxygen. He said it wouldn't last that long, but I think it was just he didn't want to see me there. The Grandpa hurt. didn't want to yeah. see me there. Like yeah. they had what they had to go through to come in there, and even the kids to be searched and all that. You know what I mean? It was like I said, my mom bawled every time. Yeah. So yeah. So Grandpa came and see me in pre-release though. Mm -hmm. So that was nice, but. Yeah. Um, All right. So you get out. You meet a guy. Yeah, meet a guy. And so we're together a few years. We decide to get married. Um, he has addictions. Okay. Oh, my, that was my next question. I just didn't know if I was going to need to ask it, but it was right. very functioning. Very okay. high functioning. Okay. Had you known? Fell in love. No. Oh, uh, fell in love. Okay. So his was either gambling, the meth, or the alcohol. Mm -hmm. And um, fell in love. Promised to quit. Promised to quit. Promised to quit. I stay clean. I still been clean mm -hmm. 22 years clean and sober today. You know what I mean? Woo! Awesome. Yeah. Um, he has loved my life. We decided to have another child. Promise he quit. Promise he quit. Um, this child turned five. I can't do it anymore. I can't raise him like I raised the other ones. Yeah. And when I'm wanting to spend time with him and I'm sitting at drug houses in the car and I'm like, somebody rolls up, they're not going to believe it's not me. I have right. a huge record. Right. Like, we went to rent a place and they're like, well, we'll rent to you, but not your wife. And I didn't even dawn on me that that would come up, that yeah. manufacturing, nobody wants to rent to me. They think right. I'm going to blow up their of house, course. you know what I mean? Yeah. And it never, I have great credit, I have all this, I'm a, you know, I never stole, I never did anything like that, you know yeah. what I mean? I, yes, I slung the drugs, but I didn't, I wasn't a bad drug dealer, you know what I mean? Right. If you can say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, um, yeah, they said they would rent to, me, to him, not to me, so... Five years, um, ten years in with him, can't do it anymore. The kid's five. Yeah. Um, I need out. So I was a stay-at-home mom for six years. Oh, okay. Um, he would disappear for days and then come home, no money, no nothing, borrowing money from my mom behind my back because he would go gamble it away. He could win five or six hundred bucks every time he walked in the door of that casino and he blew two thousand. Yeah. You know. So never get ahead. We lived like we were poor and and we weren't. You know, yeah. over a hundred thousand a year he made. Um. So to put him out, I had to rely on my mom and my grandma again. Yep. So how do you bring yourself to have that conversation mm -hmm. with them? Yeah. Um, they knew. They knew what's going on because behind my back, he was borrowing money from my okay. mom and stuff. So, and I also went through thyroid cancer at that time. They removed my thyroid. Um, I've had. Is um, that a result of meth? No, no, okay. no, and we I, don't know. I guess it's hereditary, but we don't okay. know who in my family. And I've also had. Um, I've had cancer polyps like three times in my colon too that I have to get removed every year also. So, no, we have no idea. I take it all on, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You're that strong. I'm that strong yeah. for the family, right? Yeah. Um, so relying on my mom and my grandma again. Um, this one kind of threw me for a loop. I really loved him. I really, really loved him. Yeah. So I kind of went on some antidepressants and couldn't even go in a car anywhere. Like I would feel like I was crawling out of my skin. It was really bad. 
Um, so you're holed up in the house kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. yeah, got on the antidepressants. Who start breathing can live. Mom and grandma are very supportive. Um, kids, a friend of my kids' mom owned a barber shop in Enumclaw, and so she needed help part time. So I'm like, okay, I can do this again. Let's let's mm -hmm. go do this. You know what I mean? I have boys. I have five boys. I can cut boy hair all yeah. day long. So um, I went and I worked there for about a year. Um, I needed more money. I'm I'm raising a five year old by myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I remember a postcard I got in the mail about sport clips and that you only do men and boys hair for the most part, you know what I mean, we specialize in. Right. And so I'm like, ooh, that's like 10 minutes away. I live in Bonnie Lake, yeah. right? So Was the store getting ready to open? Is that no, the store had been open. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was open three years or so maybe, because mm -hmm. I think I came in 2011. Okay. So actually Devin, one of my stylists out there, and I came in, my manager was out sick, the manager here was out sick, so Devin and there's a Kelly who actually owned, used to own that barber shop. They hired, they hired me on the spot. They said if I could work for that woman, I could work for anybody. So I was hired on the spot. Wow. So um, no technical interview, no nothing. No wow. hired on the spot. Right. Yeah. So and, and no background check. I mean no, that's, no background that's, check. That's that right. box, are you a felon? <laughs> no, I'm not. Do you know what I mean? So wow. we had that conversation okay. later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I proved myself, you know what yeah. I mean? I um, made Rising Star in 30 days. I cried my eyes out. Like, mm -hmm. I got so much so support here, so much When, when did you back. disclose your background? Mm. Or did somebody find out and bring no, it up? No, okay. I had the girl, uh, some of the girls here knew. Only um, ones I was close to. I didn't tell everybody, people are judgy. And yeah. people don't really think you can change. So I didn't really disclose that. And then we had a manager here that got was anyways was yucky got fired okay. and um i was like oh she's gonna tell me i know she's gonna tell mm -hmm. me she knows my story mm -hmm. so andrea was here one night and i said i need to talk to you and she's like okay so i ran down my story to her and she i says and she's like she stands there she's like you're an amazing woman and i was mm -hmm. like okay that was not what i was <laughs> expecting and i was like wow. i just want to tell Good you response. my story before somebody else tells you right. and i want you to hear it i wanted you to get to know me first and to have that trust be, and before you know mm -hmm. you knew what was going on so and I think that was I think that was right before I'd asked for um Courtney to be Courtney to be manager me to be assistant because I didn't know enough about the computer and stuff like that and I really mm -hmm. wanted to learn so I wanted to be assistant first and then work into management mm -hmm. but I wanted all that out in the air first so yeah 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 uh so it, Andrea, she are you guys like sisters at this point? Oh I mean, gosh, are you I love them. Biggest, they are like I was gonna say to biggest me. thieves, but yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> maybe partners in crime, yeah. like that, yeah. not anymore. Um, so, because uh, they how many stores do they have? Two. Okay. This one in Covington. Right, are you yeah. close with the Covington manager? Mm -hmm. Tara, yes, yeah, okay. love her. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it. Is there kind of like a, well, I felt the vibe when I came in, your daughter-in-law worked here. <laughs> yes. Is there a family kind of atmosphere yeah. going on in this? We have, there... um, Courtney's been here since day one. Like Devin's been here nine years. I'm eight, I have my twins that are going on. They're going on eight years. Um, I think Kendra's rolling on something like six or something. Like there's lots of people who've mm -hmm. been here many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm looking around. How many? What I have a you, core of have eight. Four, okay. I have 14, but I have a core of eight who have been here and built this store. Yeah. yeah it's pretty awesome. And I mean, if you're looking on YouTube, you can kind of see over my shoulder all, uh, all the uh, Chairman's Club gold awards, uh -huh. silver back in the day, but yeah. I mean, they're, they're aiming for platinum. And then We're of course, for a million. they want to be a million dollar yeah. uh, a year store. Uh, yep. CES Works score of 90% or higher. I think okay. I run the number one online check-in percentage in all of them okay. all year long. That's so. what I love. I love that online <laughs> Let me tell you something. I love My that team runs. I should percentage. say. <laughs> because you're so busy too. I mean, yes. You, you better if you're a client. Check we run an hour to two hour waits. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. The store. Yes, always. Um, so you now have had this this very fruitful career at Sport Clips. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever get in your car? and just uh, either driving home or on the way here, just kind of reflect on what it took for you to get here. And yeah, how you made I cried it. over Rising Star at 30 yeah. days. I went from stylist to assistant manager to manager. I'm an ambassador of Lee now. I got, mm -hmm. I got asked to be that. I didn't apply for it. I got asked, like mm -hmm. corporate asked me to be that. Um, I run a number one, number two store in our region. Yeah. I'm headed to, I will, I will be a million dollar store in two years. Yep. Yeah. like. Woo, all my dreams are coming true. That five-year-old, I will be putting him through college, mm -hmm. like by myself, mm -hmm. by myself. Yeah. Like I'm almost hitting a hundred grand. Like 
Yeah, That's, I went from dirt to this. And I have all the support, all this love, my right. dreams. Gordon came and see me. You Jordan, came and see yeah, me this right, year. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah it's no, exciting. This is, this is, uh, I'm blessed. You, you, your store is on the map. Uh, you are obviously such a huge reason why. At, at what point, is there a point in your, I don't know whether it's in prison or uh, where then there was abuse and there was addiction and, and then now you're back in a cycle with this next guy. Uh, where he's addicted, was there a point where you're like, you know what, I just, can't, I gotta give up, I just can't do this anymore? Or is there something always kind of No, you I always kept me going. Like the only time I really wanted to give up is when I was pregnant with Kendall, and okay. I really would have gave up then. Yeah. Like, that was super bad. Like, the, yes, when I went on antidepressants, I definitely needed that for a year, and then mm -hmm. weaned myself off of them, but mm -hmm. all the support and the strength I get from everybody, and my mom's always my cheerleader, like, and my children, my children are like, mom, let it go. Like, mm -hmm. let it go, we have, let it go. And this one I've raised alone, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I'm like a mom. I, I did this. It's okay. I made mistakes, you know what I mean? But it's okay. I'm a, I'm a good person. Like. So, good. Give me some give, give it. No, don't give me advice. I'm not a <laughs> give, give advice to moms that are listening right now that are working their butts off, uh, doing, doing everything that they can, know that they've made some mistakes, some choices that they wish they could take back. But yeah. Hey, talk to them real quick and just give them give them something to, to hang on to. Just don't let it define you. Don't okay. let it define you. You know what I mean? Just keep striving. There's another day. Always look to tomorrow. There's another day. Like you just keep just keep going. I don't I I don't know what more to say. Like, you know what I mean? I, I seen the pain that I caused in my children and I would never do that again. That's with Andrew. I cut it off at five. You know what I mean? I can't do this again. You learn from your mistakes. You don't, insanity, just keep doing them over and right. over again. Right. Like reach out. You know what I mean? Even in sport clips, we have the cut it out program. You know what I mean? There's, yeah, there's let's, coaches. Let's talk about that. Like, in case there's some that haven't heard it, what, can you uh, walk me through what the cut it out program is and why it's so important? Well, I, I believe it's for um, abuse that, you know, if you're having abuse in your in your home life or even in your store, like you can reach out to your managers, your coaches, your, your team leaders, and they can help to get you help. There's also the um, Wayne McGlone Fund, you know what I mean, that you can get, you know, the, if things happen in your life, you can ask for money to help to get you out somewhere. Um, you don't have to accept that. Don't let it define you. Yeah. I thought it would stop. You know what I mean? It doesn't stop. It will end in death eventually. You know what I mean? It you it may seem like the rug's pulled out from under you, but you can gain again. Just take baby steps, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest thing. Don't let it overwhelm you just one step at a time, you know? And I was thankful I had my family, but there's shelters. There's other places, a Cut It Out program that you can reach out to for help also. And we'll, we'll link to that Cut It Out program yeah. so that people can find out more about it. But I like I like your perspective that you're bigger you're bigger than your mistakes yes it doesn't yeah. define you I, yeah. I love that um this has been incredible <laughs> and this is i know this is the abridged version like we could literally spend three hours <laughs> and could. still barely scratch the surface there's so many stories that, that we could unpack but um what i want to do i want to end with i got 10 fun questions to end with okay and with those yeah and then uh we'll get uh, get you oh and then we'll end with uh <laughs> devouring some Woo! mountain dew cupcakes, some mountain, mountain dew cupcakes they're actually really good uh, they, they, look amazing. Night, they were really good they look amazing and, yeah you know, that, I got, that's all i cut hair better than oh, i think no, here's, here's a question can i keep these tupperware or what <laughs> i yeah. have to mail them back because i'm i'm going all over i'm driving to you Eugene, can take Oregon, it, yeah, and take put, it with you. So I'm gonna, I need that for no, my road trip. No, you're just fine, you bet. <laughs> okay, here are my questions for you. Okay. All right, uh, the very first one. Uh, which superpower would you most like to have? Which superpower? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That's hard. Okay, these are 10 thought-provoking questions. I guess I take pain away from people. Okay, so yeah. kind of like draw the pain out. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Healer. Yeah. 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 Um, we do that a lot behind our chairs. For sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the, mm -hmm. the conversation, even the mm -hmm. physical contact. Even when you, for years, like I watch kids grow up, go to college, yeah. like I went to births and deaths and marriages mm -hmm. with these people. Like I get invited to their homes. Yeah. I got invited to my when I, he's a police officer. I got invited to his painting of his badge. Wow. All his family's like, who's she? And he's like, she's a martyr. <laughs> yeah, it was super cool. That's awesome. <laughs> and to be on that side oh, of it, exactly. I'm in a room yeah. full of police and I'm not in yeah. trouble. I'm like, woo woo. Yeah, he's got That's full circle, baby. Oh, man, that is awesome. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Uh, 
What, uh, give me one of your nicknames that people have for you. Oh, God. They call me, um, <laughs> um, I'm loud. I'm loud? just a spaz. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brenda the Loud? Yeah. Loud mouth? Yeah. Um, I noticed that you kept the microphone a kind of away from, that's good. I'm very because, loud. Because the, the, I'm sure the levels would have <laughs> sort of peaked. Uh, number three, other than where you live right now, where else in the world would you most like to live? Mexico. Just went to really? Cancun. I would have okay. been in a heartbeat. Well, where were you love. doing in Cancun? Vacation. Yeah. With, with three of my stylists. Oh, was my twins that came won, in. Had you won a, a, a and contest? And we had a client or? give us the timeshare for What? <laughs> And yeah. I gave it to Caitlin. Are I was like, I want to go. Holy mm -hmm. I wasn't holy. sure if I could get a passport. Like, in, in my, yeah. like 22 years, it's over. It's you know what awesome. I mean? It was so cool. My best yeah. friend lives in uh, Can the Cancun area. Oh, I man. love it. Yeah, That's my amazing. assistant manager, Nelly, and Angie, I have twins that work here. So, wow. Yeah, Caitlin, Your client just... Sheesh. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys must be doing something special here. See? Uh, <laughs> all right, first of all, do you have any pets? Have you, have you had any pets? I'm a cat person. Okay, great. Uh, your favorite cat's name? Oh, it's Albert. Albert? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other cats listening aren't going to get jealous? No, my first cat was Dummy. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> but, but Albert's your Berto's, favorite? Yeah, Albert's okay. a favorite kid. My kid took him over. Um, number five, what's a hidden talent that you have that maybe others might not know about? And oh. please don't say cooking meth. That is not, <laughs> we all know that. Right now. So that, that's, that is that's not a, a talent. Oh, I don't know. I can roller skate. Okay. There we go. <laughs> roller derby's in your future. All right. Um, all right. What sound or noise do you love to hear? Sound or noise? Mm -hmm. Ooh, the laughter. Just laughter. Okay. With my kids are in here. Mm -hmm. When everybody's bantering. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just that loud, fun. joyful noise. Yeah, usually, yeah. Uh, what sound or noise do you hate? Ooh. Um, hmm. Birds chirping. What? Yeah, I do. Birds? When I go camping, <laughs> I wear earplugs. The happiest Because of my world. back days, you never wanted uh, morning oh, came and birds uh, chirping. Okay, okay. To this day, it All resonates. Right. <laughs> they All laugh right. at me. I wear earplugs camping. Yeah. Wow. I've never had that. <laughs> Usually, that's like a noise people love to hear. Okay. Uh, all right, when they do a, a movie based on the story of your life, which is going to happen, <laughs> what actress do you want to play your role? Um, I've always heard I look like Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan? Yeah. Go for it. I mean, she might have to get her hair straight right. shorter, but a little longer hair. And then what is the title? What should we call the movie? What should the title of the movie be? Hmm. Dreams do come true. Dreams, okay. Mm -hmm. I love it. Last question. If heaven indeed exists, what do you want hope to hear from God when you enter the pearly gates? Hmm. That's a good. Yeah. 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 You have done good. Okay. You've done very well. And I, I'm proud of you. I know we all are. Um, Andrea, when I uh, talked to her about uh, your team leader, uh, about coming here, she said, oh, wait to hear her story. It's, it's going to knock your socks oh, off. So my, my, shoes, <laughs> my shoes and socks, you can't see it. They've been knocked off. Um, it, you can't see it on the YouTube video. But, uh, but yeah, I've been blown away. And, um, and I know that other stylists that are listening to this are going to be encouraged by yeah the, just don't give up sure. don't give up like sport clubs is more a family it's more it's so supportive like i'm serious all my dreams have come true here like it's an amazing company yeah yeah wow. we're, we're lucky to have you thank you and i want to make sure uh we will link to uh, cut it out the yeah. cut it out program yes. and if you need any help like uh, uh what brenda was discussing in uh today's episode please do not hesitate to get yourself some help yeah and reach out to me yeah I can okay. help you seriously. Okay. I'll put your I'll yeah. put your uh, yeah. your Facebook or yeah. something. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll attach I'm a mama bear in um, here. Yeah. I take it all on. Okay. Like yeah, we have we procedures in here for that too. We love it. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Thank you. We'll have another episode <laughs> next week. Thanks. <laughs> all right. That was Woo! awesome. Thank you you. Did it. That was great. That was great. Holy moly. Woo! I'm serious. That could have gone on. We could have been here for <laughs> hours. Yeah. Have